It's official. After an almost year-long, often tumultuous battle, former Vice President Joe Biden has crossed the finish line, formally clinching the Democratic nomination. The milestone sets him up for a bruising battle against President Donald Trump that will play out amid the backdrop of a pandemic, economic collapse, and civil unrest, a daunting trifecta of challenges Biden hopes to use to his advantage. They're some of the sternest challenges our nation has ever faced. They need a president who cares about them, who cares about helping them heal now. Biden became the presumptive nominee almost two months ago when his last opponent in the primary, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, dropped out of the race. But he only pulled together the nearly 2,000 delegates needed to seal the nomination after the latest round of contests this week. The former vice president's path to the prize wasn't always clear. While he consistently led the largest primary field in history in the national polls, his campaign looked to be in trouble after a string of losses in the early contests. So when you hear all these pundits and experts, uh, cable TV talkers talked about the race, uh, tell them, it ain't over, man. We're just getting started. He rebounded with a resounding win in South Carolina and from there dominated Super Tuesday, launching what turned out to be an insurmountable comeback. The day after South Carolina, other candidates started endorsing Biden. Uh, Democrat leaders started endorsing Biden. And that helped him over the top just about everywhere on Super Tuesday. The results made it a done deal. While Biden no longer has to battle Democratic rivals, he has a host of other issues to tackle, from winning over skeptics in his party's left wing to running a campaign Palmer. essentially out of his Our Delaware home. We have a sleepy guy in a basement of a house that the press is giving a free pass to. That understated approach may irk his rival and challenge political norms, but some analysts say it could be just the right move during this unprecedented campaign year. And the best strategy for Joe Biden may be a low-key strategy, which fits in pretty well. Uh, do the events that uh, you want to do, organize them from your basement of your home, and let Donald Trump deal with the problems. Uh, it's actually tougher this year to be the incumbent than it is to be the challenger. With the top of the 2020 ticket now set, all eyes are turning to what could be the most important decision of Biden's five-decade political career, choosing a running mate, something he says he hopes to do by August 1st. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.